Kate Blanchett has two Oscars and a resume of both big-budget blockbusters and arthouse hits, but she's missed out on some roles along the way as well. You're not one for tears, and well, neither am I. Blanchett grew up in Melbourne, Australia, where she first appeared on the variety show Hey Hey It's Saturday in the late 80s. Can you start now? Uh, yes, go for oh, it. Yes. Right. Fortunately, she was able to recover with a pair of Australian miniseries and the Ray Fiennes drama Oscar and Lucinda before finally breaking out in 1998's Elizabeth, which earned Blanchett her first Academy Award nom. Meryl Streep reportedly turned down that role and Nicole Kidman was also considered. I am not your Elizabeth. I am no man's Elizabeth. Blanchett then joined that year's Oscar winner Gwyneth Paltrow in The Talented Mr. Ripley and also provided an uncredited voice in an infamous scene in Eyes Wide Shut. Named Miss. She was then cast as Galadriel in the Lord of the Rings movies after Lucy Lawless backed out due to pregnancy. Blanchett was also Steven Spielberg's first choice for Agatha in Minority Report, but the director decided to make 2001's AI artificial intelligence first, and she decided to move on, clearing the way for Samantha Morton. There was so much love in this house. Around that time, Blanchett was also considered for Clarice Starling in Hannibal, which went to Julianne Moore, Roxy Hart in Chicago, which went to Renee Zellweger, and Ada Monroe in Cold Mountain, which went to Nicole Kidman. Blanchett was set to play Anna in 2004's Closer, but had to drop out due to her pregnancy and Julia Roberts filled in. She also pulled out of The Merchant of Venice for the same reason and True Blood's Lynn Collins replaced her as Portia. Blanchett was able to make 2004's Aviator and won her first Oscar for her portrayal of Katherine Hepburn, a role Kidman was also considered for. Look at me, Katie. Stop acting. Oh. Oh. I'm not acting. The following year, she was considered for Jane Smith and Mr. and Mrs. Smith, but lost out to Angelina Jolie. Blanchett was cast in 2006's The Fountain alongside Brad Pitt, but production pushed over her pregnancy, Pitt dropped out over differences in the script, and Blanchett then had a conflict with filming Little Fish. Eventually, Rachel Weisz and Hugh Jackman filled in. In 2007, Blanchett earned two more Oscar noms, one for reprising her role as the Queen in Elizabeth the Golden Age, and the other as a character embodying Bob Dylan for I'm Not There, a role Maggie Gyllenhaal auditioned for. I refuse to be disassociated from that. The following year, Blanchett joined Pitt as Daisy in The Curious Case of Benjamin Button after Vice dropped out. She was then set to voice Mrs. Fox in Wes Anderson's Fantastic Mr. Fox, but was replaced by Meryl Streep for undisclosed reason. We take the shortcut or the scenic route? Let's take the shortcut. After winning Best Actress for 2013's Blue Jasmine and earning her latest nomination for 2015's Carol, Blanchett was set for a bigger splash, but had to withdraw over a theater conflict and was replaced by Tilda Swinton. She also missed out on playing Melissa Lewis in The Martian for the same reason, and Jessica Chastain took the role. Blanchett was rumored to be offered a role in Wonder Woman, but she instead joined a different superhero universe, playing Hela in Thor Ragnarok, a role Charlize Theron was also considered for. It's a shame, I would have liked to have seen that. Blanchett's 2020 marks her return to the small screen. She stars in the current Australian series Stateless and is set for FX's Mrs. America, alongside an all-star cast that includes Elizabeth Banks, Uzo Aduba, Rose Byrne, and Sarah Paulson. Why would God put this fire in me if he didn't want me to act on it? 